Hi everyone, welcome to this video. Today I'm unboxing a new tripod by Niwa or Niwa, however you pronounce it. This is a, a tripod with a ball head and an extended arm, like a horizontal arm, so that you can put your camera out and film overheads, etc. So let's have a look what's in the box. I might zoom out on this really wide lens, as you can see, it distorts my whole hand. But uh, we're out at 10 mil there on the 10 to 18 f4 from sony so let's have a look what's in here these uh, tripod videos are always a little bit tricky to film because i need to be far enough for you to be able to see it extended but close enough for you to see all the little bits and pieces so what else is in here here we go put that box there what have we got we'll start with this little thing oh, it's just an allen key and i think some instructions no. Nope. Might get down here while we do this. Actually, I can probably zoom you into 16 again while we go through these bits and pieces. So here's the little whatever these are, Allen key and um, the key lock thingy. Here is the instructions. Hopefully they'll come out. And that's the back. Okay, and let's look inside now. Oh, it comes with a bag. Oh, that's cool, isn't it? So it's got a little bag that's uh, these can secure together there, or you can carry it over the shoulder. That's pretty cool, isn't it? And let's open it up and see what's in there. There's a little pocket in there as well. I'm just having a look. So let's have a look at there. So you can tuck some bits and pieces into here. All right, and let's continue. Get this bag off. Okay, so it's just, just one big piece. So there we go. I'll give you a close up. All right, so I might have a little look at the instructions and then I'll come back and just show you exactly how it works and what you can and can't do with it. See you soon. Welcome back. So it's a new day, as you can see by the room. I uh, didn't finish that video, so we'll go through the tripod settings now. I've had a time to look at it and test it out so we can run through them. Well, maybe we'll start at the top. It's a bit awkward to sort of put this all together because it's so tall. But uh, So yeah, at the top we've got the Arca Swiss plate um, with a little uh, pin or whatever you call them. You know, you screw this um, into the bottom of the camera and it's got some locking screws which are good these are like safety uh, screws so that if you have the camera on there and you've happened to accidentally undo this slightly this won't slip out so there's a, a lock in there which is really important not all heads come with this so this is a great feature then you've got the ball head so two screws for that one i mean one one doesn't quite undo it they said two so i don't i don't know what I think of that, I guess it gives you that extra security, although it probably would be maybe nice to have one. I'm not sure. I haven't had one with two like that. So um, yeah, I'll keep you updated on that feature. But yeah, so the ball head obviously can spin um, 360 and it's got that little groove so you can go horizontal with the camera. And that's where that lock I was talking about. If you accidentally undo that instead of this, the camera would normally fall straight out. But because of that little locking, pin at the back or pins I think um, it won't so that's great uh, put that back to the top and then at the back here I didn't show you I probably should have spun it this way is a another little spin screw thing whatever you call these and this one allows you to rotate this one 180 and it's also got measurements at the bottom here um, and a little cut out groove there so that you can see what measurement you're on and how many degrees so that you can be precise. So basically this whole head can move any which way you like, which is great. 
Uh, now I can see that the video is getting really bright. Let's see if I can turn down the exposure a little bit. Sorry, the sun has come out. This always happens to me. At the... Oh, yeah. Um, okay, we'll continue on down. So uh, down here we've got this um, lever which allows you to put this up and this also comes out and you'll see that in a minute. Um, in fact, I'll do that now. So there, at the bottom of this there's a little pin, this red pin here, and there's also a little red button at the bottom of there. So what happens is that pin, that first pin, if I press it, um, if I press the bottom pin, it's a little bit hard to show, but if I press that bottom pin, the top pin is moving. I don't know if you can see that. So basically by pressing that pin, it goes one level up, if, if you could hear that click. And then that allows us to undo this. And then the, tr the tr um, tripod arm can be moved this way. So it basically unlocks it from that hole in there and um, sets it free. And then you've got another screw here, which allows you to, I'm calling them screws, but I don't know what they're called, knobs, whatever. Um, if you undo that, it allows you to then pan this. So basically you've got another 360 degree rotation here, as well as this going in and out. So whichever angle you like. Now, another good thing is that by pressing that button again, you can take this all the way out of this um, cavity, and then you can push this underneath and if you're requiring you know um to be really close to the ground you can put that in there and then you've got a camera facing um down this way so you've got many many options can go up on a side out to the side um, and also underneath so i might put that back in so put it back in just by clipping that button and then in it goes tighten all these things up and then we'll have a look at the legs i might drop that a little bit more so it's quite hard to do these unboxings on the fly. So I've got to the wrong one. There we go. So now moving on to the legs. Um, might move this down slightly. So these are these are um, the uh, twisty sort of legs. So I might just stand up to show you, but yeah. So down there is the twisting knob things but up here you've got this um, ability to extend the legs out so if you just slightly press in and then down it unlocks it to the next level and again to the next level so you can have these right out um, and really low to the ground etc depending what you want and to go back they just click in each time so you don't need to press the button for them to go back now uh we'll f let's just finish with the legs and then i'll show you some other things so the legs just um turn so turn turn out and etc and they concertina out three times um you've got little feet on the bottom there um and the other feature here is the um little they give you a little sort of circle there where you can put um, the provided, I don't have it with me, but the little keychain thing, um, which you can um, hang, uh, you know, a sandbag off to keep the um, tripod steady. And also it's got a little compartment here, which is the 3 8 um, adapter. So you can screw on a light to here or whatever accessory you want. And then if you don't use it, you can just put that back. It's also got um, a level down here. I'll just show you just there a little tiny one and also a level on the head there as well and the one more thing that I've got to show you is that the whole thing can be a monopod so one of these legs this one marked with the um, sign there can be unscrewed and then you take the top of the tripod off the the head and then you can uh, convert it into a monopod. So that's pretty good too. Um, so it just goes onto there to screws and, um, and it becomes a monopod. So it's quite handy. You've got many, many, many features in one tripod, which is um, not all, they're not always like that. So 
Um, as far as the height, etc., I'll just put it together and give you an idea. I'm not sure if we'll be able to, to see. I think the highest it goes is 184. I'll put some measurements on the screen now so that I give you the correct information. But let me zoom out. Hopefully, oh, no, that's the wrong way. Um, let's see if I can get this in frame so you can get an idea of how tall it is. Um, Oops, still getting used to the turning ones because my current one is um, uh, not a turning one, it's like a clip one, which I don't know, I'm still not sure which one I prefer. I think I quite like the clips, but these seem pretty quick as well to just come out, so maybe, maybe I've not chosen the right uh, way of doing it. Um, okay, so here we go. So I'm about 175 centimeters tall, let's say. So yeah, I think that was, I think they said 184. So that's as tall as it can go. Um, and then that's your base level there. And then as you saw, I'll put the measurements as well of how little it can be. Um, and yeah, that's it. If you enjoyed the video, um, just give a thumbs up and um, subscribe if you want to see more things from me. Um, and uh, yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. If you've got any questions, just ask them in the comments. Um, I try and answer every one of them and I usually leave something out that I should have said. So I usually put that down in the description. So um, you can check the video description for anything that I've missed or any um, updates or details. I just leave them in there. So yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.